All right, so we're going to be taking care of this hose today. As you can see, mine, this clamp here is starting to let go. And even if you replace it with a warm clamp, it's going to keep leaking again. It's also kind of seeping out of this side. And the metal part completely shattered before. And I tried to fix it up and you know, it's better to use buy a new one. Pretty straightforward, you just take off these screws so you can take this little screw off so you can reach the hose. And as you can see, the metal parts, this is the old design hose. The metal part is completely shattered and I had to use this to kind of put it back together and get back on the road. The new one has what seems like a more sturdy plastic. So I think this will be better and it will last longer. First thing you're going to do is you're gonna take off your coolant cap slowly and um, this is what you want to do is we would call it that's pretty much dead cold from sitting because if if your if your car is hot then you're gonna throw coolant all over the engine bay you can hear a bit of pressure in this one here too also i'm replacing this cap because as you can see this is complete junk and it's already falling apart so before it leaves me stranded here is a new cap right here i should replace the reservoir but whatever for my car, I have this warm clamp here, and which didn't even help. It still leaks out of there. Uh, for your car, it's gonna be kind of like a press clamp, like the CB axles have, and you're gonna have to use a little flathead to kind of like pry it off and get rid of it. You want to take this off slowly because if this is your original radiator hose, that nipple there is going to just completely break off. This is what the nipple in my original radiator hose looks like. You can see it's completely just sheared off. It wasn't in this car, but when it was when I was replacing the radiator. So I suggest if you're doing this job, and go ahead and replace that hose as well, since you're going to be draining the coolant from that area. You're going to kind of slowly twist it out of there, very easily. Don't don't twist, don't turn it sideways or whatever, because you might risk breaking off the nipple. And we're gonna see if it seeps any coolant out. Got myself a water bottle cut off the top of it, and just kind of like let it drain a bit down. Basically, almost nothing came out. This is what you want to do this in a cold car. This pressurizer system, coolant is just going to fly out of here. So you see, almost, almost nothing came out. But better safe than sorry. So you can see here's all the, all the blue residue that was falling down my new hose and all that. So we definitely want to avoid that. All right. So now that we have the hose drain. It's time to unplug it from here. And the way that you do this is, I believe this flathead is a bit bigger. No? Actually, it's perfect. You want to get a little flathead and pry away this little clip right here and then you can kind of like pull it out sometimes it is good to spray silicone or whatever on that area because it helps the plastic release but you definitely want to take it easy on it i'm gonna try prying at it with a flathead let me see all right so definitely definitely the easiest way to do it is to go with a flathead down here and kind of pry away back very gentle of course and the hose just kind of comes out of there. Let me get my little water bottle. Put it down here, just in case. See, you're gonna have to drain the hose out. There's a bit left in it. No big deal. All right, so it's mostly removed. Here is the old hose. You can see the piece that I put in. This junk right here. I'm draining it into the bottle because it's actually a lot of coolant that stays in the hose even though you put the drain at a lower point than the hose itself. So there you go. And let's get the new hose in here. It just started fucking raining, great. I'll put that, let me just put the cabin place on. All right, so here we have the new hose. So when you're gonna put it in, you're gonna see the clip is recedes into the, into the end of it. You want to pry it out very gentle because these clips like to fly out for a reputation for that alright so this is in and we're gonna go clip it back down that's secure alright so now I'm gonna go and put my clips in there you can hear them click and make sure to put the warm clap on the hose and the hose goes under the connector for the radiator fan it's very hard to fiddle down here it's a new hose so it's a bit tight but here we go all right i want to just get it in place in there very gentle all the way down all right get a warm clamp in here here we go 
And let's get the hose seated completely down here. All the way in. Right, and we're gonna go and flip the this thing in here. Perfect. And then just a matter of tightening in the one clamp and filling up whatever coolant might have left or just topping up your cooling system. I don't have my clamp for the other side, but step that will do. You know the saying is not stupid if it works. So whatever. That's pretty much good to go. Let's top up the cooling system. You want to make sure when you're done that the bar is like this, almost like halfway popping out. But of course, sometimes it will, it will have be full here in the reservoir, but it won't be full in the system. So it's always good to run the, the breathing procedure with the water pump. So if you want to see that, you can look at it in my radiator hose replacement video, which goes all the way through it as well. So if you want to check it out, which you should, if you, you should replace that hose, go to the video. I'll leave a link in the description or whatever at the end of the video. This hose, I mean, I suggest uh, any of you guys, as soon as your car reaches 100,000 miles, if this has never been changed, just buy it. So you can replace it before it breaks because um, just like this stupid little fitting here uh, is going to take a shit just like that radiator hose and this I luckily broke as soon as I was getting home but you know sometimes it can break on your way to work and you're going to be stranded and it's going to cost you a tow truck a lot more than it's going to cost you to replace this hose which I believe was 20-30 bucks.